Hey guys, what's going on? It's Gats playing Fury Warrior today. Brand new changes here. Let us play Single Minded Fury. So I'm stoked to check that out. Um, they added a bunch of extra stuff here and changed a little bit in Torghast here, so hopefully we get to have some more fun here. First things first, let's get our steward out here. We've got Files of Serenity today. Vendor an item at him. Because why not? Alright, and let's see what we can do about this floor. Surprisingly, we got two animas here. Uh, so it now denotes how rare it is, and then it tells you if it stacks or not, which is pretty cool. Alright. Alright, so let's try to take care of this... Sentinel here. We just gotta be careful, because there are skeletal remain guys. And they hit pretty hard. So if I jump in there, uh, let's see here. Okay, ignore pains on ship five. All right, oh, we're gonna hop in and hope this works out okay. Regen a little bit of health here. Man, this slow is just unreal. Let's shattering throw him here and let's pop a file. Toss the spear down. Alright, there we go. We got both of them down now. Two more enema powers. Increases Rampage damage by 20% or get 300 Phantasma. Uh, we'll take the Rampage damage. It's always good. And next enema power here, we're going to get Rage Gen increase or Phantasma. And, you know, we're going to take this uh, extra Rage Gen. That just seems like the right thing to do. Eat up here as well. I don't know if it's actually really going to help us. It's only like, what's it, 4,000 health? What? What is this stuff? Food for ants? Ugh. Alright, so we need to find some sort of healing here. Save our soul here. Oh, I'll run in here with this anima power because there should be one in this phylactery. There it is. Succulent Carpaccio? <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so Parafat of Fervor, Berserker Raids last 100% longer, and also causes other party members to go Berserk. Uh, or Door Pain ignores additional damage. Uh, we're gonna take that Berserker Rage. That's actually pretty cool. That 
rampage going. Get that enrage. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess it can just go ahead and kill me real fast. Why not? I didn't even res with full HP. That's really ridiculous. Alright, we'll just charge in here and take care of this Alkalite by ourselves. There we go. Make good use of that spear. Suddenly my music got super loud there. Oh, we don't actually need to get that guy there. Looks like we don't actually need him. We'll just jump up top here. Got another tower sentinel, so we'll get to him next. The damage is definitely a little less than with, uh, you know, Titan Grip Fury, but my attack speed is a lot faster. My Rage Gen seems to be a little better, too. Alright, uh, we're gonna take extra Rampage damage. Because I really don't care about anything with movement speed. We're pretty mobile. We do have a uh, Spell Reflect here, which is super helpful. Soul's Blessing increases duration of re and Rage Regeneration by 10% per application. Yeah, we'll try that. That sounds really good. So double checking in here on talents. Uh, right now we're running War Machine for the extra auto attack uh, rage, as well as the rage and speed whenever you kill something. Double time for the double charge. Uh, Frenzy, which is Rampage gets you extra haste, stacking up to three times as long as you don't switch targets with that Rampage. Uh, Furious Charge makes your next Bloodthirst deal 250% damage, which is pretty crazy. Cruelty, which while we're in Rage, Raging Blow deals more damage. Meat Cleaver, just to get the extra AoE. And then Siege Breaker for that extra damage on whatever target we decide. Uh, multiple Tower Sentinels here. We're going to take out the Sword of Torment first. Damage Bloodthirst, pulling an enemy or two. Get the heal off. Fury. Fury's good stuff. Alright, duration of one of your shouts is increased by 500%. Which shout these singing stones effect is revealed when the power is selected or increase the duration of recklessness and bloodstorm by 40%. Um, yeah, we'll go with the war banner. That's, that's pretty good. 
It also gives me a reason potentially to play, uh, you know, Blade Storm as well then. This here might not actually be an anima, so. Yep. It's an anima mech. Here we have a Bone Colossus and a Tower Sentinel. So, we're going to want to hard focus the Tower Sentinel. So we're going to go ahead and use Shattering Throw on him. And then charge into it. Big and Rage going there. More Rampages. Pop and Rage Regen. We're going to need that here. Get an Ignore Pain up just for a little bit of help there because that is going to help hopefully quite a bit. These mobs hit kind of hard. Oh, I got feared again. Didn't get the interrupt all. That's alright though, it got me away from him for a second. I'm gonna hop over here and then we're gonna charge back in and bloodthirst. Get a big crit. Big damage, big damage, there we go. Look at those rampages go. As you can see with haste here, Everything gets way, way better. Imagine that. Alright, so we need to do File Light, which restores additional 40% health on our uh, File of Serenity, or we can get Maw Rats, die, and deal damage. Um, we're just going to keep buffing our carrying ability because it's super strong. Alright. Take out those there. We're going to try to not pull a bunch of stuff here with that, uh, that Lord of Torment. Thankfully, it shouldn't be too hard to avoid doing that here. Alright, so here's our Lord of Torment. We've got our Recklessness back up, and we've got our Spears. We're going to drop our Spear Charge in, pop Recklessness, hit that Bloodthirst, get the Rampage off, Try to get the, oh, I missed the kick, darn it. Uh, we're going to hit the fear here just to nuke that off of him. And just keep spamming away here. Damage increase on him again, another rampage, hitting for big damage again. Oh, and we're stuck here waiting for something to do, so we kick. And just continue rampaging as best we can. Maintain that buff. And there we go. We killed ourselves a nice big Lord of Torment. And we're still relatively full health. Oh, jeez. Go ahead and grab this bonded soul here. And then kill them all right with Alright, right into this death speaker here.
Phantasma. Uh, we'll fight this Seeker here because he may actually have a... Uh, sometimes they have animas. They seem to be some of the ones that occasionally will have them for us. Jump on this bridge here, take care of these guys. Definitely want to use the spear here. And spell reflect, because, whew, man, they they actually hurt pretty bad there. My goodness. Alright, more rage gen, because that's what that gives me. Be sure we hit the mall rats with our uh, victory rush. He is eternal tormenting himself. Now, Rampage is definitely still your most important button for sure. Anytime you get yourself any sort of, uh, you know. Hold on a second here. There we go. Anytime you get yourself any sort of procs, if it's a rampage, you better use that rampage. There we go. Alright. So you can either get Victory Rush, takes Tan Phantasma. Oh, here we go. This is the best one. Heal for 50% of the damage dealt by Whirlwind. And that one stacks. That's a real good one to have. For sure. My microphone keeps moving on me here, so I apologize if my volume keeps changing on me. So, of course, this here's our freebie floor. Get some free souls, anima or two. Ignore pain is a 20% chance to cast enraged regen. Uh, increase crit by 5%. I guess we'll take that bladed bulwark. That sounds pretty good, honestly. You know, getting us uh, some, uh, some free healing. Not a problem with me. Another bound soul. Oh, I can't intercept to him, darn. Alright, so we have 284, so we're going to take that free anima cell there. And then I got 134, so I should be able to get two of these here. Uh, so we're going to grab more mastery and more crit. Because when in doubt, go with those stats. Alright, your armor and block value are increased by 10%, or heal for more whirlwind. Yep, we're going to take 100% of the damage we deal as Whirlwind, we heal back. So, now we can be a little riskier. Because it'll be much easier to stay alive now that we're healing for 100% of damage dealt with Whirlwind. Uh, let's see, Berserker Rage lasts 100% longer. We have one of those. Uh, let's take this Singing Stones. Did I get a Singing Stones here? Well, I didn't get a buff anywhere. Okay. Well, guess I'll just have to pop all my... Guess I'll have to hit all of my uh, shouts here at some point during this. Alright, so we got Tower Sentinels up. And looks like not a whole lot else. Alright, so here we got a Tower Sentinel mostly by himself. So we can charge in, pop our CDs up. Oh, why is... 
Why was he evading? That was weird. Get our spear down. I'll pop and ignore pain here. I'm gonna do shattering throw. Just because I can. No real reason besides I just really wanted to hit shattering throw. Alright, so there he's down. Bloodthirst cooldown reduced 25%. Excellent. We'll definitely take that. Reflect that back to him. Get in raise regen going there. That was all those little skeletal guys that got me there. More phantasma, I'm not gonna worry about that. Ooh. Now I'd like to get into that group there. But I really need more HP, so I guess we'll kill a mall rat here. Okay. Well, I guess we can fight this guard here, get some more HP back. Okay. Well, let's give it a shot, see if we can get in here. Nope, too many mobs. Alright, well, at least we know our limits, I guess, right? <laughs> Man, I just didn't matter. I just fell over dead there. Alright. Well, we're going to skip that pack entirely. That's just too much. We don't have any CC. So we're just going to skate around it. No shame in skipping packs. You have no chance of killing, right? Okay. Now up here we got about the same situation. See if I can get just him by himself. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and try to focus on our Tower Sentinel here. Pop and raise regen here, just to keep that regen train going. Otherwise, I'll end up, you know, just bleeding out, and that won't be any fun for anybody. Okay. 
There we go. So, you know, that time we handled it because we were able to take care of all the little skellies with the carrying ability. So that's definitely going to be the key for dealing with those is, you know, having a covenant ability that shores up your defenses like that. You know, it just gives you that utility that you need to get past stuff that is absolutely problematic for you. Damage of Whirlwind is increased by 30%. Your steward provides stuff for your allies or Bloodthirst CD reduced. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take this this uh, increased damage to Whirlwind. Seems pretty good. Nothing wrong with that at all. Alright, we can go ahead and just move along here. Damage is definitely getting a lot better here. Okay. Alright, so we've got a group there. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that. Let those little dudes get destroyed first. And then go in afterwards and just take him out. There we go. Now we've got a bunch of stuff up here. Oh, man. Three Tower Sentinels. All right. So we're going to try to pull just him and get him to come back here with us. I don't think he's going to reset or anything. He should just keep walking back for us. Yeah, there he goes. Just don't want to get additional mobs with him. Trying to get some big damage on him here. Come on, come on. Die already. There we go. Alright. Animal power. Ooh. Extra haste. Or your attacks have a chance to fire a bolt of lightning, dealing nature damage to your target. Um, well, right now we're at negative 3% haste because of all these debuffs. Um, let's choose the haste power. Alright, that puts us back up to our normal haste even whenever we're dealing with these tower sentinels. And we're going to kind of skirt around on the left-hand side here, because I really don't want to go in the center and fight all of those yet. Oh, and I found the way out of here, too. Cool. Okay. Now, over here is one of the Tower Sentinels. So we're going to kill him. He, uh, he needs to go. These guys just have so much HP, and I don't think this is, uh, I don't think Single-Minded Fury is really well-tuned yet. It's gonna be my guess, because this doesn't feel, this doesn't feel as strong as some of the other specs do. Alright, so it looks like we may have to take this pool here. 
So we're going to wait until we see... Well, basically until my uh, spear's up. Because as long as my spear's up, I should be able to charge in their whirlwind once, chuck the spear, and leave. And I'm, Oh, jeez, we've got all those two over there. Yeah, we really don't want those with these big colossi. Like, that would be awful. Alright, so we're going to charge in here on this colossus. Oh, and I have found friends. So now we're ready. We're at half health, but we're going in anyway. Oh my god, I instantly died. <laughs> Alright, Sponge Shrapnel, melee, 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 melee. Wow. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Alright, I guess we're going to try to skip those then. That was absolutely stupid. I just I died so fast. Uh, for anybody wondering about the music here on this run, this is actually, uh... This is actually, surprisingly, just the zone music from Ice Crown and Ice Crown Citadel Dungeons, which is pretty interesting. I didn't know that, uh, it was this easy to find. But, uh... I went ahead, found it, and grabbed it, and I was like, oh, this is perfect, because this is kind of like Ice Crown, sort of. Alright, we'll see if we can skirt around here. We should be able to. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We got past all that, thank goodness. Alright, deal with these phylacteries here. Not getting anything out of them, that's okay. Fear to interrupt there, basically. Get that spell reflect up. Alright, next power here. Your steward soil also refreshes the cooldown of spear. Enemies affected by any of your shots take 20% damage additional, or bloodthirst CD is reduced. Um, I guess we'll take that. Get the extra file stuff. I should be using them more often. Because you give it basically about... It's three every five minutes or so. So this here will be floor number six. This should be our boss floor. Now I did run this, uh, I did run Torghast here as, um, you know, standard Titan's Grip Fury a little bit ago. And I've got to say, it feels about the same. Like, speed-wise and survivability, but... Wow, neither of these are good. Uh, I guess we'll just take the armor value. I mean, that's about all we could really do there. Alright, so here is our boss boss in air quotes here. Patrician Cromwell. Oh, he has a name now. Excellent. Alright, so we're going to charge in here. Let's get everything going here. nasty now. Okay. Well, I guess we are going to go ahead and just wait for some cooldowns now, because... Alright, let's see here. Alright, let's go ahead and take... Sudden Death over War Machine. We're going to stick with Double Time. Actually, no. Let's swap over to Storm Bolt. Um, 
swap over to Massacre. Switch to War Paint. Cruelty over to. Uh, we'll go to Frothing Berserker. Keep Meat Cleaver. And Siege Breaker is just 15% additional damage. Um. Yeah, we're gonna add Reckless Abandon. We'll try that. Yeah, this is the first time I've fought one of these guys where it's actually been... Like, he has legitimately a good bit of health on him. Um, and he actually does damage. I was not expecting to get hit so hard by him here. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head in here. And we're gonna do... Our spear as our opener. We're gonna charge, bloodthirst, rampage right away. Interrupt that volley. I'm gonna die here. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Wow, he hits so hard now. What was he hitting me for? My goodness. Creeping Sins hits you for... Okay. He melees me for a little bit. The volley's 3k. I'm getting hit by that plague for 181. Creeping Sins. I think that's the ground effect. I'm just going to have to be a lot more careful and not screw up, because that's really what that was, honestly. Just me not staying out of stupid. So, we're going to play the game right now. Um, hopefully all this stuff will despawn. It's a lot of blood shit on the ground. Let's give us another shot here. We're gonna spell reflect his first spell here. Interrupt the second one. Dread Plague. Gonna do a volley, that's gonna hit me. Crippling Burst. Okay. Spell Reflect. Okay. Dread Plague, move again. This is a ridiculous amount of damage here. Reflect. And I died again. The Terag arrives in 20 seconds. Alright, so I lose here. So that's going to be this run here. I did not kill him. Uh, they made this a lot harder, which I'm excited about. You know what, I'm gonna let you guys see the Terag, because I don't think you've actually seen him on my channel, so. Oh, my, 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 my. Ugh. Oh, there's something in my eye. What is in my eye? Ugh. Hurry up. Your deaths have attracted the Terag. I don't know where he is exactly, but oh. 
He's just gonna come from out of nowhere and just eat me alive, I guarantee it. Ugh. Yep, there he is. Alright, so we're just gonna pop our CDs and go in here, and we're not gonna kill him, I guarantee that. Oh, jeez, there's more than one of them. Oh, jeez, it's gonna let me res, and it shouldn't. Alright, we're gonna get out of here, though. Well, thanks for watching this video, even though I failed miserably at that last boss. He was way harder than I expected. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, downvote it. Tell me why. Check me out on Patreon. I'm over on uh, Facebook and Twitter as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya!